If you're wondering what to feed your quail, what I personally do is I start out with game bird starter. It's a high protein diet. Uh, the one I use is this one. It's 28% uh, protein. It's very high. They need that high protein to commence growing. Uh, you need that right up until the point of butcher, which for me is around six weeks because I'm in a densely populated area. I like to keep the noise down. So I start getting rid of roosters around six weeks. And I might take some of the smaller hens I might take them a little bit longer, uh, up to maybe eight weeks. Uh, but after that, I transition to game bird maintenance. Uh, this is lower protein level. It's only 15% protein. Uh, they will tell you that you need high protein right throughout their life, but that's not quite true, because I I originally used to use game bird starter right throughout their life, uh, but now I don't, and it's a lot cheaper. You save at least 15% on going into that game bird maintenance for your layers. So they, that has a higher level of fibre uh, and a bit more calcium. Uh, but so the idea there is to get, give the high protein when they're growing. It helps them grow fast because they're the fastest game growing game bird, domestic game bird in the world. You want them to grow fast so they're big when they get to that age of uh, harvest for the butchering. And then you move into laying. So you want to just keep the cost down. Why not use game bird maintenance? There is another one, a finisher. Uh, if I was running low, I don't use that too often. If I'm running low on my game bird starter and I'm getting close, uh, close to actually, yeah, getting close to butcher, I will maybe buy a bag of game bird finisher just because it's got a slightly higher fat content and it'll enable me to just give them that kick because it's 22%. So it's something in between uh, the game bird starter and the game bird maintenance, just enough to get them over the edge and then. The layers can eat it and it's fine and it, it's relatively cheap it's sort of priced in the middle as well uh, so that's just another option um, but yeah i would recommend game bird starter if that's a must for that high protein right up until um, eight ten weeks maybe and then transition to game bird maintenance or lower level protein the game bird starter comes in a crumble you can see it's quite fine it's all crumbled up and that's really great because you can use that on the chicks and they can digest that break it up, get it in their gullets pretty pretty quickly. And then you, when you transition to the maintenance, it's in a pallet size, but it's not the giant pallet size that the chickens use, it's something small, something in between. I've used this for years and the um, quail have no problem, they hit it with their beak, they break it up, but they couldn't swallow that down anyway, because they can take whole mealworms down their throat, which are bigger than this. Um, yeah, so uh, you couldn't feed this to the young chicks though, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to break that up and get it down. Uh, so that's just something to remember. So that's it. I hope that gave you some ideas on how to feed your quail. Uh, make sure it's that starter, the very high protein early on, and then you can, you've got some other options. It's not so critical in the later part of their lives, uh, but yeah, definitely need that high protein diet early on.